ladies in the morning is medicine for your body. Body got medicine blogging. No can look look for Panadol, Nathamitanol, Islam. Body he got medicine blogging. The right medicine that God is walking. And talk to God. Body got medicine blogging. So if you are turning Bible, you come to Proverbs chapter 4, verse 20. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 20. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Me and Kalji Upla. No can just put in Bible blowing nothing look. How about? Because everything, every answer to your life is in that word. No can put him tas on and listen to the Bible blowing. Pick it up and read it. Pick it up and study it. Not just read, study it, dig into it. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 20. From NIV Emito calls them. <coughs> NIV translation Emito calls them. My son, pay attention to what I say. Mm. My son, pay attention to what I say. Listen closely to my words. Can you hear what God is saying? Listen closely to my words. Do not let them out of your sight. Keep them within your heart. For they are life to those who find them and help to a man's whole body. In another translation, let me talk about them. And for keep them within your heart, for they are life to those who find them, and medicine to a man's whole body. Medicine or health or healing to a man's whole body. Okay, I'm going to read that again. My son, pay attention to what I say. Listen closely to my words. Do not let them out of your sight. No can let them go. Wander away from your sight. Keep them within your heart, for they are life to those who find them and healing or medicine or help to a man's whole body. Okay, I'm going to read that from Passion, Passion Translation. Suppose you don't have a, you have no access to Passion Translation, that it's on the board. So help me play along. Later you can write it. Passion Translation reads, Proverbs chapter 4, verse 20, let me talk. Listen carefully, my dear child. Yes. He didn't say, my dear children. He said, my dear child. Individual. Yes. Okay, one, one. Yes. Listen carefully, my dear child, to everything that I teach you. <clears throat> to everything that I teach you. And pay attention to all that I have to say. Fill your thoughts. Pull my beam, thinking below you. Fill your thoughts with my words. See how important the word of God is? Fill your thoughts with my words until, fill your thoughts with my words until they penetrate deep into your spirit. Until that word penetrates deep inside your spirit. Then as you unwrap, as you unwrap, then as you unwrap my words, they will impart true life and radiant health. Radiant health into the very core of your being. Wow. Hallelujah. Listen carefully, my dear child, to everything that I teach you and pay attention to all that I have to say. Fill your thoughts with my words yes. until they penetrate deep yes. into your spirit. Then as, as you unwrap, awesome Christmas present here, you say unwrap him. As you unwrap my words, they will impart true life and radiant health into the very core of your being. Okay, Lord, and then you've been reading them. Uh, do not let them out of your sight. Keep them within your heart, for they are life to those who find them. Come, Lord, Jeremiah 29. Those who find them. Look at Jeremiah 29, verse. Let me read him. I just go to Jeremiah. Lord, dig him out this little talk 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 inside there. Jeremiah. It's good for us to dig. You mean, okay, no one look. Time you read in Bible, dig. Yes. When something yes. keeps on yes. standing there, outstanding, dig it. Yes. So Jeremiah 29. <clears throat> Jeremiah, this is how you study. Jeremiah 29, starting from verse 11 to 14. Okay, let me talk about some. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope yes. and a future. Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me and I 
will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. You see, you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. I will be found by you, declares the Lord, and will bring you back from captivity. Okay, this is scripture you talk about, <clears throat> Hallelujah. Big, um, life to those who find them and healing or health to a man's soul body. So Jeremiah 29, 11 to 14, Amy, Amy, Amy not talk about them, not to those who hear them, but those who, hallelujah, those who seek him, they will only find by those, there are so many hearers of the word. Right now we are sitting down, there are so many hearing it, but the ones who see result are the ones that will go, go home and dig, and dig, and dig, and dig, and dig. Okay, so even though there are so many Christians, but among those Christians, there are only two or three or four that are going to go home and dig further to get it. So every time God said, they are alive to only those who find them. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. <clears throat> so, so we look at more than this, like two read. There are four commands, four instructions, four black commands here. Number one, Pay attention to what I say. Yeah. Pay attention to what I say. Mm. Pay attention to what I say. So look him. <clears throat> Pay attention to one of something. Suppose body blow you sick. Suppose you feel him sick. And God will give you one black talk. No. First Peter 2 24. It says, By his wounds you have been healed. Okay. So by his wounds you have been healed. You feel him sick. You go to talk blow God, now kissy marasin blow you. Come now second, first, first, I'll, I'll go slowly because there are new people here. First Peter chapter 2, verse 24. Why me go slowly? First Peter chapter 2, verse 24. So me talk, talk blow God and pull up the marasin. Can can sick blow, sick sugar, sick TV, sick cancer, sick tumor, sick, uh, all can can sick, AIDS, any sickness and disease, even COVID-19 virus, anything, he got marasin no talk to God. So Second Peter, uh, First Peter, chapter two, verse twenty-four. Let's look at it. <clears throat> verse twenty-four. Let me talk also. Let me talk. I don't have to do Okay, it says, He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, so that we might die to sins and live for righteousness. Okay, listen to this. By his wounds you have been healed. Yeah. By his wounds or by his stripes. Listen to this. You have been healed. Okay, you turn him. Personalize it. Instead of saying, by his wounds you are healed, you must talk. By his wounds I am healed. Okay, you personalize it. So if the word is saying, pay attention to what I say, what are we going to do? You feel him sick, and then God is, you walk up feeling fever, you walk up feeling gurya, skin like gurya, you walk up feeling dizzy, you walk up feeling heavy pain. What do you do? By his wounds, I have been healed. You speak out. Okay, while you're speaking that word, that the instruction it talks them, pay attention to what I say. So you might feel in pain. You might feel him body play gurya, you might feel him turn out, you might feel him, you go to the doctor, doctor, I talk, you saw bullet, what are you going to do? Doctor might give him report blog and you, but you might go to report blog God, by his wounds I have been healed. Okay, pay attention to what I said. Number two, number two instruction of command and talk, listen closely to my words. Listen closely, see, Bible is practical. Bible is practical. Okay. So number two is uh, listen closely to, to my words. So while you walk along, go now, doctor come, doctor examine you and diagnose him you and give him and get up later to him. Sick blow your son, more than X-ray blow your fix up blow your son. One plus half repair and pull up locus ya. One plus lung blow pull up locus na. You walk along shopping because of that. Now, am I give you fix again? But you are standing on by his wounds. I am healed. I am healed. And the doctor by the but look at fix up. <laughs> okay, in your private home, you are looking at the word of God. By his wounds, I have been healed. Now, doctor, by care of the talk said, look him x-ray picture. And we are long, no, yeah. Kill out, pull up in this, yeah. <laughs> and then the man talk said, okay, God, what the holy stuff will happen to you? Man, you not sleep good. Okay, what are you going to do? Yeah. Listen closely to my words. Yes, Pay attention to my words. Yes. This is what the doctor is saying, yes. but you must look at the medicine here. Yes. Okay. 
And this is consistent. Okay, so he says, listen closely and intently to my words. So number three instruction is, do not let them out of your sight. So when the doctor is coming with his picture, what I'm scan report long and blood test you go, now you kiss him test blow you. Now all you look up and pull it blow you. And all the white cells no got there. You got red cells that's all. Or red cells no got uh, blue me like blue cells. <laughs> so look at every time the doctor by come on them, by bullet for them. Do not let them out of your sight. Let what? The word. Don't let the word out. Don't wander away. Because doctor is showing you this picture. Don't wonder. This is the faith walk. Okay, this is faith. So you sign up, Lord. This lad, when you talk, you kiss him up. Holy person that keep on standing. And by come give big sign on you. And by come give blood test on you. And by come not only talk long end, but he didn't create your body. God is the creator of your body. Okay. So church, this is how the word works. This is faith. There's a process. So Dr. May talk can can no God. Listen, listen, pay attention to my word. So look, if you come to the house, can yes, doctor talk about them, but that's the fact. Yes, me see, and me looking one, but the truth is, by his wounds, I am already healed. See, this is your faith. How you sign up is going to get you through. Okay? And the last one now is keep them, keep them within your sight. Uh, keep them within your heart. Third one, third instruction is do not let them out of your sight. Number four, hallelujah. So third one, Ken. Regardless of symptoms, tests, doctor's report, you remain steadfast. You must put him head blow, go to talk blow God. Now no can send his him, stop or send. Or must I talk or send? Uh, like a bulldog tenacity. Yes. And bulldog, I'll talk bulldog. Yes. Bulldog and one black kind dog with time and take a man. And put him titty go or hand blow you or leg blow you, one up. And by put him now, no see me stop or send. So the uh, on must I say talk or send. Your faith must be like bulldog tenacity. Knock and rouse him. Yes. Put him in go inside the stand in there until you see your breakthrough. Okay, it's how how determined you are. How determined. Okay, the last one now. Keep them within your heart. You meditate it. By his wounds, I have been healed. By his wounds, you are taking. So you are taking the word. The word of God is seed. You are taking the seed out from the bag and you are planting it into your heart. Okay, the word must get out from the book and put it into your heart. Why? This is the temple. You mean hiding talk? Okay, hiding talk inside the bag below you. Okay. So let's go on. So of everything that Doc said, it's not the truth. So doctor by come, and we kiss him X-ray, and we kiss him scan, and we kiss him blood test. You know what? Anything that uh what do you mean? All your five senses, you taste, you feel, you see, you hear, yeah. and what else? Smell. You smell. Yeah. Those are facts. Facts are something that you can look in, you can taste him, you can feel him. You can hurt him, that's fact. But the truth is this. This is the truth. Nothing will ever override the truth. This is the highest form of reality, is the truth. Truth is the highest form of reality. So thank you, son of the top of God. Even though the fact he took all them, you are sick, extra blue yourself, lung blue, kill out the person, finish, push the person, now lift the captain, and at the same time, too, only looking body blue. <laughs> yes, that's a fact. But the word said, by his wounds, you are healed. Yes. You see, what are you going to do? Okay. <laughs> what, what, you, what you see or the word? you got to stand on the word. See, this is a very trial. And as we are living in these last days, we are going to go through this. Yes. These are the things that we are going to do. Finances will be short. Kaitai by sword. Papua Niki Nikina is dropping. You see, all these things are going to happen. Some, some people are losing their jobs. And what are you going to do? We all have to go back to this. This is the one that's going to take us. And this one, God is writing because Emi Savelo, at this time of our lives, we're going to go to COVID-19, the can and end times. And this is the one that's going to comfort you. Okay? Okay, let's go on. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. So this is a man's whole body. I'm going to read that again. So why? Why do we have to obey all these commands? Why? Because the... The, we, because God's words are life to those who find them, okay? And healing and health to a man's whole body, okay? So you become them, Lord. Uh, Bible it all, Sam. 
Eminoto Osem, it's healing and life to a man's spirit. Mm. He said it's healing and life to a man's whole body. See, God knew already. Yeah. Jeremiah 29, 11, Lord. Message Bible, Eminoto Osem, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. So look at and prepare and talk here. All get a promise belonging, all get a marasin belonging, and put them go inside. And put them go inside, prepare him so that we are going to go through this because we will be going through. Okay. So when sickness and disease or virus attack you, it will only attack your body. So I want to clear something. You mean to play, we are a three part being. You mean got spirit, we have a soul, okay. We possess a soul, but we are living in this body. Okay, we are three part being. We are a spirit, we are not a body. You and I, we are spirit men. But we possess a soul, and we live in this body. So time you give him hardly, Lord Jesus, Jesus, Holy Spirit, now come inside the spirit man blow you. Stop inside. Stop inside the spirit man blow you. So what's happening now is when you are sick, spirit man blow is sick or body blow is sick? Only your body is sick. But your spirit man is free. Sick you do not touch him, spirit man, because that belongs to God. That already saved. Okay, the sick will come here, sick sugar will come, sick TB will come, sick leprosy will come, or get the kind of sick come, it's touching this body. Yeah. This body, when by dying, I'll be buried inside the ground. Okay, it's not touching our spirit man. Yeah. Our spirit man is free. So we can, we can, we can, we can take it out quickly. See, because he gave us medication. And we give him medicine. No, come out. Because our spirit is still there, intact, but our body is sick. So what we do is we take the word, Marasin, Lord, talk, Lord God. We take the medication, meditate on it, keep on meditating, keep on meditating, and we get out. And once we meditate on and on, what we, what's happening is we are taking the word, putting him inside the spirit man. You will feed him spirit, see? Yeah. Many, many times we go, you will be sick, now you go to the doctor. Doctor may give me Marasin, the body. Mm. But that medication cannot affect the spirit man. It cannot affect your mind. That medication, and blow, and blow, this is like malaria tassel, yeah? And blow malaria tassel, so. Maracin them give you, and blow kill him, like malaria tassel. He do not give you not the maracin, but your spirit man, he cannot touch it. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is, example, God already provided a medication, supernatural solution for his children, for his children. So medication that will never expire. This is like innocent expire. All you talk about is COVID-19 suit here, something along an expire penis. Talk about God, church, doesn't expire. Hallelujah. It doesn't expire. Okay. Hallelujah. Medication that it will cost you nothing. You do not buy. You do not go line up law, uh, law hospital, law morning, you go in up law night. You know that? Uh, hallelujah. This one, it, it doesn't fail. This medication doesn't fail. Once you take one, I'll get a sick my penis. So suppose you, you kiss him Panadol, you got headache. You kiss him Panadol, Panadol is not curing leprosy. Panadol is not curing cancer, only pain. Pain tasso, but talk to God. Pain, I'll get something fever, I'll get something that might put the mama must come back, but kiss him the skin nugget come back. Hallelujah, you know, take me by, take, take this by, by word. God is, God's word is medication to men's whole body. Okay. Hallelujah. I'm not saying don't, don't obey the doctors. Thank God for the doctors. God gave him all wisdom and knowledge. But God only not created body brain. God created body, body brain. So I'm going to go to something here, practical. I'm going to go to a practical thing here. Okay. You bear with me because I'm going to try my best to explain it. Holy Spirit will help me. Okay, suppose you feel him sick, okay? We'll say example is malaria, because it's main, main sickness right here. So you feel him, you feel him fever, you feel him skinny heart, you feel him skin very gurea, you feel him tar out, you feel him pepekwara, a belly pain, a pinatangla malaria stuff inside. So you know what you do? You like confirming, but you go to the doctor, you go to the doctor, you go to the house sick. You go to the house sick now, doctor by diagnosing you. And doctor diagnosing you, me talk picture. The doctor di diagnosing you and by the oh mama, you, you got malaria, positive malaria. You got a malaria. So what doctor will do is, as soon as I'm diagnosing you, he will give you your medication for that. Okay, so suppose you got, uh, everybody give you this like, medicine, this is like, malaria. So 
after after you finish and the same time too, by the doctor me will tell us too. So I give you tarot medicine too. Doctor me pepe kwara too. And I give you pepe kwara medicine. Doctor skip me and I give you panadol. All get that. So when you leave in the doctor's office, you come outside. You are left with a bag of medication. Okay, a bag of medication. Okay, I'm talking about this like bottle medicine. I'm talking about who said here got medicine? Medicine the bag blowing. No got that. You plan to get medicine. Okay. So inside the maras, it is like packet maras. Other side, long and only writing instruction. Mm. Ah, mm. only writing instruction. All my side, if you go nothing, no good you go over those. <laughs> so all my put them instruction under the law, packet the maras, all my talk also. Take four, <laughs> take four to, uh, for three days. Take four each for three days. So four by this, this is atamita or uh, what am I? Uh, malaria medicine. Yeah? Mala one, mala two. You kiss him so. <laughs> mala one, mala two, fancy that. Okay, that can't get something. You may kiss him so. All by put him on the side, all by talk. Yeah. I'll just put an example. Example, okay. Today you go, you go, you must get past them. Then we must get KK. Okay, you kiss him four plus today. Okay, four plus tomorrow. Okay, four plus next day. For three days. So instructions start not pass up, not packet. So you know what you do? When you go, you listen to the doctor's instruction, you look him instruction, you follow the instruction. Like, my holy doctor, pay attention to my word. We are paying attention to the doctor's word now. So you may pay attention. So we take that medication, we go and we show the doctor, and we take it home now. You may go to the house now, you may go to the house, okay, time now, okay, me but take it fast time, doctor, you talk. You must take it fast time. You may have him talk to the doctor, pay attention to my word. So what we are doing now is we are taking four now, today. Today you drink penis, tomorrow. No good you lose the thing, you put him alarm, no telephone, blame, no reminder. By reminding you, no, tomorrow can. So tomorrow it's just after four, next day it's just after four. And then body blow your right. And to what? Yes. Because why? Because you listen to the doctor's instruction. That's the same faith you do on this. That's the same faith. So what's the same faith? Here, pay attention. Hallelujah. See, if we can listen to the doctor's advice, this is a this is more higher than that. Let me talk about Pay attention to what I say. Listen closely or intently to my words. Do not let them out of your sight. Keep them within your heart. So these are the instructions. So if doctor talk about self, you got to take kiss him for blood, tomorrow for blood, to next day for blood. Okay, suppose you feel in fever, kiss him to blood panadol. Okay, suppose pepe kwara, kiss him to blood marasin. If suppose I uh, want uh, tara, you kiss him this too. But if you don't take it, you know what? You by go also lapun manu, lapun merister. You by pepe kwara, you go in you die if you don't obey. But we have to obey. The same instruction that God is giving us, we take the way. Okay? Okay, hallelujah. Okay. So this la, hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay. One of the things that me looking, you will turn in book it come uh, Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12. Hebrews 4 verse 12. By Miki Simlo, by Miki Simlo, Amplified. Hebrews 4 verse 12. Let's see what the word is saying here. See, how to talk God, what, what, what really is the word of God? So you be I am talk to blood doctor, you be kiss instruction blood doctor, you will go kiss him and you may arrest. Okay, now when we look at what really the word is, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. The Bible reading law, and I uh, amplify it. Hebrews 4, 12. Amit of Olsen. Amit of. For the word that God speaks is alive and full of power. The word that God speaks is alive and it's full of power, making it active, operative, energizing, and effective. It is sharper than any two-edged sword, penetrating to the dividing line of the breath of life, which is the soul, and the immortal, which is the spirit, and of joints and marrow of the deepest parts hallelujah, of our nature, exposing the word of God, exposing and sifting and analyzing and judging the very thoughts and purposes of the heart. So look him. Talk of God is alive, it's full of power, it is energizing, it is effective. Look in, talk of God. So I believe in my heart. We Christians are supposed to be the most loveliest people among the wealthy people. Even though age blame look of God, 
We are supposed to be alive. Yes. Yes. We are not supposed to be deadly. Yes. <laughs> we are supposed to be alive. Why? Yes. This is a talking going inside the whole of good for you. I'm speaking out of experience. I was a very lazy woman in the beginning. But time you read him talk now. Talking comes inside the life of me. It's like me plugging, uh, plug me go the PowerPoint and <laughs> I came alive. <laughs> I came alive, you see. Hardly by looking at sleep, sleep. Hardly. I'm out in the garden, I'm out in the house, I'm on the step, everywhere. I'm 62, I'll be 63 soon. But see, the word changes a person. The word transforms. Come back now. Uh, first Timothy. First the second Timothy. Hallelujah. Um, about the God bread. I think it's First Timothy. First Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. First Timothy, let we, we just do some. Second Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. Second Timothy 3, 16. You can look in Sabbat. Yes. That's what the word does. And many are in a Sabbath read. Yeah. She doesn't read. But she can stay out there raking, gardening, everything. She cleans up everything until night. What's making her do that? It's the word. She doesn't read, but she meditates. Me talking in Sabbath, you know I read, but you meditate. Like I'm talking all about the Bible, never give me strong. She just keeps on and on and on. <laughs> Some of you young people need this. Hallelujah. What did I say? First Peter. First Timothy. Okay. Huh? Second Timothy 3.16. You know my name Timothy Blumier. Yeah. Timothy Lucia. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so my Second Timothy 3.16. Okay. Listen to what it says. Now amplify the middle of God says. Every scripture is God's breath, given by his inspiration. And, and profitable for instruction, for reproof and conviction of sin, for correction of error and discipline in obedience, and for training in righteousness, in holy living, in conformity to God's will, in thought, purpose, and action. I'm going to read it from uh, NIV, more shorter. Hallelujah. You got new platform. Uh, Translation is passion. So we should go phone download it. Passion translation. It's a good one. Hallelujah. I'll just get this for you. Second Timothy chapter three, verse sixteen. Verse sixteen, let me go all set. Hallelujah. Verse is God is done. All scripture is God breath. And it's useful for teaching. It's useful. Every scripture is useful for teaching. Hallelujah. Where am I? It's useful for teaching, for rebuking, for correcting, and training in righteousness, so that the man of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. So you know what, what I'm saying here? We say illustrating this like all the time. Time God is inspiring all man where only writing is the like book. It would be uh, just just a normal book, but this is a different book. This is a lie because you know what God did? He took the book from them and he did this. Yes. And put a wind long and go inside. And this is a lie. It's a lie, it's effective, it's energizing, it's active. Okay, so tell him you put a wind long and inside, and when you are meditating by, by his words, I have been healed by his wounds and I have been healed by his wounds and I have been healed. You know what? When you meditate on and on and on, spirit men men blow by catching this laptop. Yeah. Time when you explode inside the spirit men blow you, even body blow you sick, but once it explodes in your spirit men, your body will do nothing but by obey. <laughs> body might come back alive. <laughs> so look at God gave us something that look at man by game you me. He gave us medicine to live on this earth. Okay, suppose you got this like long self-esteem. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in this world. Suppose you look, look down on you. Look down on you. You feel him awesome. Now the line in the they are better than you. You feel him awesome. You're down, down, down. No, no, no. Greater is he than he that is in me than he that is in this world. I can do all things through Christ who strengthened. I'm not the woman I am now. Me very blocker, I can't. Me very blocker, it. 
But the moment I got into the word and went, the word went, penetrated into my spirit, I changed, totally changed, transformation. Church, if the Bible is saying the word of God is active, we are supposed to be active. If the Bible is saying word of God is effective, we are supposed to be effective. If the Bible is saying we are, the word of God is energetic, we are supposed to be full of energy. If the word of God is saying we are, it is alive, we are supposed to be alive. Yes. <laughs> There's a crowd out there in the world, yeah, yeah. and that crowd and die die crowd. <laughs> but you may go and walk about my temple and be die die. They won't even know that you are carrying the spirit of God in you. But if you are different, you know, they will know. That woman has been with God. That boy has been with God. Yes. That man has been with God. You know why? Because you are going to be different. You're different. See, let's be different. Mm. So you can see how the word, what the word does, it changes. So prescription, doctor, doctor write him said, and the person go home, kiss him Islam Marasin four times a day. How would God's prescription is suppose eh, suppose you got fear. Okay, Marasin blow you is God didn't give me a spirit of fear. He gave me a spirit of power, love, and of a sound mind. I have sound mind. I have love. I have power. You see, you speak it. You speak these things into your world. So look him. It's the, it's the word. This is the real word. I said, I have a real word. said, I have a real word. I said, I have a Because talk to God. You know, it's the word in us. So look him. How many of us are going to live? Live, live on. Are we going to be an example of the word? Yes. I said, you got one plus scripture and God will persuade me. I'll show it to you before. So if you have look him. I think it's in the book of Isaiah. I shared it with you people that every time you open Bible below me, you will come to this scripture. And I know every time me open Bible, but I come back to this scripture. It's about um, Isaiah or what? Meet Makim. Somewhere in Isaiah. Um, I have to look for it. But let me talk to you here. This is the one. Isaiah 46, verse 4. God's been showing me the scripture every time I open the Bible. This scripture keeps on coming. Me open Bible, run the list of Bible is having a couple of me gonna me open and become the list scripture. Me go walk, 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 finish me coming like open Bible. It's coming here. It's Isaiah 46, verse 4. No, NIV, man, we're looking at me, I'm a master. Emit of ourselves. Even to your old age and gray hairs, I am he. I am he who will sustain you. I have made you and I will carry you. I will sustain you and I will rescue you. God is speaking to me. Every time God said, even in your old age. So we look at me, I'm going to live an old age. <laughs> Why plagaras? Me terman lo is that too. Me terman lo white plagaras, all white hair. Now how do we know about we come down here? Rasoli kisi me lo kaa kaa kutu me lo kare me kutu me kaa kaa chee. The man you preach. So I already see myself. This is the way. A man said to me. So look at him for said. He promised me, even to your old age and gray hairs, I am he. Who is he? He the healer. He's, he's my healer. I am he who will sustain you. He will sustain me in my old age. I have made you and I will carry you. I will sustain you and I will rescue you. Okay, what do I do? Eflow, mix him now, you better take him now. Kiss him, plan him. Kiss him, plan him. Kiss him, plan him. See, I want to I want to warn you before. It's good for you people to prepare yourself now. Yeah, to prepare yourself. Yeah. Healing scriptures, provision scriptures, all the scriptures, start taking and meditating because you know what? Like one time Bruno shared, and kid up no person. Some of the situation we face him in life, we get a warning and we are prepared for it. But certain things that come upon our life, you will not prepare. He said, come now, grab him in the So me, me encourage you to start meditating on the way. Pull my bell for you. So that time, time the storm will come, time something will come facing you with, you get up, inside the fullness of your heart, your mouth will speak. Okay, so look at me. If the word of God is saying the word is alive, is effective, I'll pay attention to that. I will put my attention to it. God is saying, by his wounds, by, he, by my wounds, you have been healed. Okay, let's meditate on that. Or otherwise, my, my God will 
provide me with all of my needs. This is one of the things that people are taking. There's a medication for your needs, your supplication. And maracin. Maracin in your blood, body sick, that's all. Maracin and blood, my problem, what God has put together, no man will fall apart. And maracin the married. When married it like guru. Maracin blood, all beginning it. The fruits of my womb shall be blessed. My children shall be mighty in the land. All of my children will be prosperous. Greater peace is upon my children. This is a maracin. Maracin God give you. So look at Take this medication. Maracin, they have to be taken and placed in you. This is practical. The word of God is practical. So we have to start taking God by his word, planting it into your spirit man, and live that life. So look at One of the things that, one blood, um, one blood scripture, one of the things that um, me looking very effective was, this is like four commands. Pay attention to what I say. Listen closely to my words. Do not let them out of your sight. Keep them within your heart. Okay, for students, for students, God, you got plan that a personal life for me. Your plan for me is a good thing. Your plan is for me to prosper. Your plan is for the future that I help for. Your plan is not for me to be a failure. So look at, speak those into your future. The students, speak it. So taking it and speaking it. And even though the people say, oh, exemplar, you, you didn't do good. No, no, no. You don't have to. God, you got other ways. Yeah. Not through your exams, that's all. You got other ways where God will open doors. So look at church. I just want to encourage you. Pick up this book. Pick this up and read it and practice it. Every time I say, they are alive to those who find them. They are alive to those who find them. Who are those who find them? They're the ones that dig. They're the ones that seek God. They're the ones that pursue God. So look at those are who, who are hungry. So look at one of the one, last week's message, Blumia, me talked about cyclone.